I'm Jason Cherry, and this is my book, The Making of Evangelical Spirituality. In my life, I've been to a lot of different evangelical churches, Baptist churches, non-denominational churches, different student groups in college, various Presbyterian and Reformed churches. And in each of those settings, there were people using this language of God spoke to me, or God is speaking to me, or God told me. And they're not talking about how God spoke to them through the Bible. Instead, they're talking about how God directly revealed himself to their heart and to their mind in addition to Scripture, outside of Scripture. And so I became curious as to how this came to be the common spiritual assumption that cuts across the denominational spectrum in these churches that all consider themselves evangelical. And as I went to learn about this, there was no book that answered that question. There was a lot of books written teaching people how to hear the voice of God, but there was no book explaining why there's so many books with that spiritual assumption. And so, I began researching this question, and my book, The Making of Evangelical Spirituality, is the fruit of that research. This book is for anyone who is interested in the history of American evangelicalism, what it is, and how it's been shaped. Perhaps the hallmark feature of American evangelicalism is having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And whatever that means in scripture, a lot of evangelicals assume that it means that God is speaking direct, special revelation into their heart and mind outside of scripture extra biblically. Few Christians know the history of the spiritual expectations heaped upon them. Few Christians know the individuals who gave shape to these spiritual expectations. For those interested in how we got to this point in American evangelicalism, this book is for you. Not only will readers learn the cultural and historical influences that gave shape to these spiritual expectations, but they will learn the theological arguments used to advance this God spoke to me spirituality. And they will learn what is a robust biblical response to these arguments and see that there is a pathway back to biblical spirituality.